hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today you already see that I will be reviewing the lovely Kim Kardashian West collection well now Kim Kardashian her new hearts collection there are three actually but as you can see I only have two the one that is gold yes the gold one was out of stock unfortunately when I purchased these two However, I'm going to give you guys the tea on all three because I did smell all three of them. I only purchased two and as you can see, one is particularly my favorite. But I'm going to give you guys all the tea about that. So if you are interested in knowing about this fragrance to see if you like it and if you should buy or girl buy, continue to watch. But before I get started, please make sure you consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload on my channel. And if you are a lovely subscriber, you already know what it is. Thank you so much for supporting me. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So honestly, I am a little happy that I have one that I'm going to be unboxing and one that I already have open. For me, it wasn't any real reason for me to open up both of them because I really was drawn to the silver first, but because of the price point being so great and really reasonable, I'm like, shoot, I can probably get all three of them, but I ended up honestly getting two of them, obviously. So let's get into my favorite which is the silver so the silver actually caught my attention first you know first of all it was so hard to smell these in Ulta because I had a mask on so I had to like really put it up to my nose and kind of like peek my nose out you know just being a rebel but anyway so let me show you guys what it looks like so this is what it looks like once you take it out of the packaging this is obviously the silver one it has the KKW on it and then this is how you open it and then it has the pump here I think that is so so cute and when it comes to the notes for the silver this is more of a floral fruity type of scent I believe it's something that you can wear every day at one point in time I was wearing this but then I was like I wear masks every day and so are the people around me um, for the most part except for my clients they have to take their mask off for facials but I'm just like ah, I can I can save it because no telling if they're going to keep this in stock or if it's going to be discontinued because I bought one of her first perfumes which was like the peach and that just smelled amazing to me and it is discontinued. I'm like this is some you know what. So anyway so the key notes um, is transparent rose water, pear tree blossom, metallic air accord, the middle is tube rose absolute jasmine sandbox hazelnut flower and then the base is brushed suede velvet moss silver cloud musk white birch tree bark so with those key notes for me like i mentioned before it's definitely a floral fruity scent with like a musk undertone and this is something that i think you would enjoy for the springtime and that's just my signature i just love spring um scents and it doesn't matter if it's summer fall winter or spring i definitely love floral scents so if you are a floral girl or a guy or if you like your girl to smell floral and fruity this is the one for you it is a light scent and for the most part the scent lasts for about I would say max six hours that you can kind of smell it if you're really like trying to search for it. But other than that, I think it's a very beautiful scent to wear every day. Okay, now we're going to talk about the rose gold. So I'm going to show you guys the package. As you can see, it has like an outline of a heart and then it has the KKW fragrance on the box and then on the back. It just tells you the notes so I'll go ahead and read it to you so here on the back of the box it says a contemporary expression of a textured floral bouquet structure dozing in a natural dimension of soft magenta freesia petals and silky peony buds that are contrasted by a touch of white moss for a new type of addiction so I love the wording, very, very sexy. So let me go ahead and open it out of the box. Okay. Let's 
I even contemplated on like keeping the box, but I threw it away. Oh, and let me show you guys this really cute feature too. So um, it did come out beginning of the month in February and it is basically like campaigned for Valentine's Day. So it is so cute because it has a from on this side and then when you flip it, it says to. So it's almost like one of those like Valentine's Day cards. So I think that is so cute. So this is how it looks. Very simple, box, plastic, product. <laughs> okay, so here is the rose gold. It is the same type of packaging and design. So you see the KKW here. You open the side. This is a little stronger because it just opened. And everything from the top all the way to the base and the case is all rose gold. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this just because it's been a while since I even smelt this one. So for me, this is like a warmer scent, definitely a lot more warmer than the silver. This one to me is very similar to a fragrance from Bath & Body Works. I cannot remember the name right now, but once I do, I'm gonna put it on the screen and I might even put a picture on here just so you can kind of compare. So when it comes to the rose gold, it is a light scent. However, the musk is what you smell first and then the undertones are floral. When I smell this fragrance here, for me, it reminds me of fall and maybe even winter. So in my opinion, I would say hold on to this until fall or winter. But honestly, it's just up to you and how you like to smell every day. Um, if I were to wear this all year round and if I am wearing this in the spring or summer, I would definitely wear this on like a date night, a girl's night, something in the evening time or even like a brunch. That's what type of vibes this gives me. But yeah, I'm definitely holding on to this until I have somewhere like cute to go to and you know smell like my rose gold but again i hope and pray that kim keeps these because i really enjoy the heart collection they smell so good so unfortunately i don't have the gold to show you guys but it looks like the same thing but it's gold and here are the notes and the details so it is a floral oriental woody scent and that's exactly what it gave me when i smelt it again it smelt floral at the bottom but that woody smell was very much so at the top. So let's look at these notes. So the top notes are juicy golden crant, bright lemon, coconut mineral water. The middle is luminous honeysuckle, yellow tear flower, I hope I'm saying it right, gleaming orange blossom, and then the base is golden amber woods, precious vanilla bean, glowing skin musk. And you definitely do smell that amber when you smell the gold. So again, I'm sorry that I don't have it in front of me, but I'm here to tell you guys that all three of them are really, really good scents. So trust me, if it was in stock the day that I bought the other two, I definitely would buy the gold. And that Amber Woods, you can definitely smell that as well. I do remember that. Um, again, it's very similar to the Rose Gold, but you can tell that there's a difference. But honestly, all three, superb. Chef Kiss, I'm telling you. Okay, so in conclusion, obviously you see that I'm telling y'all, girl, buy, buy it. Even if you buy one, I'm just gonna be biased. I think the silver is the bomb.com. Even people that are around me when they can smell me, they're like, oh girl, that smells good. I'm like, I know. So I really love the floral and fruity. If I had to pick something after that, it's definitely gonna be the rose gold. And my least favorite was the gold, but it has to be somebody's favorite because it was completely sold out. It was not in the bag. It wasn't on display, but um, I will buy that eventually. I honestly suggest that you buy all three that way you get a variety and you can kind of like switch it up if you're somebody who just likes to get something that you know you can wear every day and you're like hey let me just spray this on real quick and go about my day you'll have three cents and i feel like that would last you at least six months if you're not like dousing yourself and really don't do that but i think it will smell amazing just add some body oil and then add it on top you know just make it work for you and i really suggest that you get this. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this review. I know it's kind of short, but I wanted to see if I can, you know, do a little fragrance review on you guys and see how you like it. So if you do like it, give it a thumbs up. And I love fragrance, so I would not mind doing another fragrance review for you. And as always, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye.